I'm Yvonne Short, and I'm a question-based artist. As an artist, I'm not necessarily selling a product. I'm really kind of looking at the world, getting to know myself, and I ask lots of questions. I had retinitis pigmentosa all my life. It's a hereditary condition. I had no idea I had it and because no one in my family had it. And so they didn't recognize some of the, the signs, which were for me, night blindness. So if I was in a movie theater, I didn't know why it was like my mom and dad could be in the theater and walk to the seat and their eyes adjusted and mine didn't. I had no idea, but I just held their hand and that became my normal. I didn't think about it, but it was that that was a sign. People would hand me a menu and I didn't realize I wasn't seeing it. Sometimes my husband would take it, but I didn't know they were even handing it to me. And then he would take it and hand it to me. And I just always thought, oh, that's just how I see. It's just a little different, or I didn't even know what I wasn't seeing. And then one day I like, I banged into a pole, I was running and I was like, wow, how did I bang into that? And then another day I was really noticing that my kids, I wasn't seeing all parts of them. And I used to see, like their whole body, their full body, but I wasn't seeing that. I was seeing their arm or their leg when they were jumping around. And so I realized that something was wrong. And so I basically didn't know that I had it until I was in my thirties. So I think like anything, it's a process. I went through a series of a lot of different things from crying to putting it in a box to just not thinking about it for a while to then kind of taking it out a little bit to questioning it with my art, trying to understand different things about how I was seeing by asking myself questions, by, by pushing my luck. I, I said, if I'm visually impaired, can I use tools still? And I thought, well, I would love to design and build a tiny house. And I started sharing with the woman who I, who I kind of shared my project with that I was visually impaired. And, and they were all really kind and sweet and we all learned how to use the tools and we designed together and, and built a tiny house on wheels. And I think that that was the start of me kind of coming out of my shell about being somebody who was visually impaired because I had the comfort and love of other people around me um, as I started sh being able to, to share it out and decipher it. And um, having the support of, of course, I do have a husband and kids who, and a mother um, family who's very supportive and letting me kind of go through those different cycles um, until ultimately I was able to be like, yes, I am visually impaired and I'm going to be brave about that. And sometimes it's going to be present in my art. Um, like I made make a lot of some paintings around it and I use texture. So I have a painting in the back of me where you can see it with your eyes and where it can also be found, felt. It uses like 50 different texture patterns. I basically learned that I can do whatever the heck I want to do. I mean, I might not be able to do it by myself. I might need to have help. I might need to have additional explanation or conversation. I might need to work at it 50 times harder than somebody else but I can do a lot. I might not be able to do it the way that I envision doing it, but I, I can do it. So I think that I've you know, learned that I can adapt and change and grow. I've also learned to surround myself with people who can give me care and who require care. They require my love and they can give me love. It's not all one-sided. I realized that that's so important in my life. What I wanted to say to those people who were first being diagnosed is that it is scary. It is so scary to think that you are losing something that so many people have that feels like it's a right to have. Like, what? but we are incredibly adaptable and we don't even know we're doing it. Like I had RP all my life I, and I adapted for 30 some odd years and you're, you can adapt and you will be so surprised at the resiliency of, your, of yourself as an individual. And it's going to be a process. It's going to take time, but you can get through it. There are groups on Facebook, retinitis pigmentosa groups that I'm a part of. And, and when I was first diagnosed, I went there and I met some amazingly beautiful souls all over the world. And it helped you to realize that what you're feeling, you are not the only one, that there are many people feeling the exact same thing. They went through the exact same thing. Some of them are completely blind and they are amazing and doing amazing things. You will get through it. 
And it's important to remember in your darkest hour that you will get through this.